everybody wants to buy that and the conditions are terrible first of all the color match it's not the best I know that but we're touching up our toolbox so it won't rust in this corrosive human environment and I, in the past when I've used such a paint I've just used it out of the bottle it sucks don't do that and don't buy the store bought uh, touch up paint like oh, advanced auto auto zone that dupli color crap no go to the paint and body supply you get two ounces for like three bucks at least in the store I do it's, it's a deal so you do that what you do is you take your little brush out you blot it on your plate and then you just stick think of this as paint you stick your little toothpick in there and fill your little chips that's the best way to do it I've been doing touch ups all wrong for years and then I started doing this and it just comes out beautiful if I can get it out with one hand I'm gonna spill it all over the place so you just take it on your little brush BAM blot it just like that close it up and work from that little little spit pile and work it into your chips I can't really show you as I'm doing it because I'm working in a really really crappy dark area where it's hot to humid and everything else we're just slowly going, hitting up all these chips in this box. Uh, it'll be sealed up so it won't rust. Hopefully it won't rust. Then we're going to coat the whole thing with WD-40. And I still have to touch up that new box that I got from the pawn shop. But I'll do this one first. And the Snap-on still owes me a lock. They charged me a lock. I didn't ship it yet. It's been like three weeks. That's how you do it though. Put it on a plate, it makes it so much easier instead of just trying to stick that bottle. Still going at this, the camera's dying. But I'm staying at a lot of tips. If you get a toolbox and you're trying to touch it up, definitely check underneath the drawers because that is the area where it's going to hit. One, you have overloaded drawers. But so far, so good. Want to do this for a while and uh, it'll be better. That looks terrible where I did all those little dots, but at least it won't rust. All I care about is rust. I don't care about the look. So that's it. Another boring video because we got nothing else going on. Just try to sell that toolbox over there, but no, the other one was a nightmare with about 10 people. That one will be a nightmare too, trying to get 250, 300 bucks for it. So uh, that's it. The humidity is now at an oppressive level because it's just stopped raining. About 3,000% humidity again, and we're probably gonna get nothing done. It's too hot. I thought it was supposed to cool down in September. Bull. Oh, you can't curse on YouTube anymore. You can't curse. You can't say it. I fixed this though. It needed a new fuel filter. It was plugged up. It wouldn't start. Where were those things? So much noise in this damn place. Yeah, the damn little fuel filter on it. It was totally plugged up. I started spraying a uh, carburetor cleaner in it and it would run again so it wasn't getting fuel. So I said, hmm, let me put a new filter on. And boom, it works. So it's sitting out there for like six months in a, it would run for a little bit, run for about three minutes and then it would just not get fuel or just get air bubbles in the line. And it would run terrible like it was running out of fuel. That's why. I never would have known. Two cycle. Check the fuel filter. I did everything else on it, but never changed the fuel filter. Well, I changed the fuel filter, but not in years. I took apart the fuel filter. It fell apart in my hands. And when this toolbox fell off the truck, it dented it really bad because the handle was on it. I'm not sure if I can pull this out if I put bolts in here and try to slide hammer it. Or maybe I just get a uh, glue tab pull. Both sides are like that. Because it's like, oh wow, someone's going to say, it's just a toolbox, I know. But then again, this car has old things on it, so that's my reasoning. I can maybe knock two things out, I can pull these, most of these things out. With the glue tab puller, and maybe I got this out too. So that'd be two things, would be pretty cool.